Jawaharlal Nehru famously stated that failure comes only when we forget our ideals, objectives and principles. This presentation introduces you to the core principles that guide the creation and teaching of the Clix modules. You need not follow these. However, what is important to note is that the process must complement the aims. The National Curriculum Framework, drafted in 2005, laid down the founding principles for much of the curriculum reform that we have seen in the 21st century in India. It argues for an inclusive and holistic education. It begins by asking a few questions of the educationists. Answering these questions will help us formulate what we do in the education system. The first question asks us to reflect on whether we want to merely make students get marks or make them responsible, productive citizens of the country and this world. Do we want them to memorize concepts or understand the ideas and processes so that they develop the skills to create new ideas themselves? How can we model thinking processes for our students? What processes and strategies will enable them to not just learn, but learn how to learn? How can we ensure that we are making learning fun and purposeful at the same time? How can we measure that our learning teaching objectives are being met? Once we answer these questions for ourselves, we can decide what core principles we need to include in our curriculum. The world is a much tighter knit community in the 21st century. The change in the outside world affects us all sooner than later. It is important that students be made aware of the developments in the world and equip themselves with skills to adapt to it. Technology can play a huge role in this. We all agree that learning and rote memorization are not the same. The aim of learning is to make thinkers of students. They need to be able to critically evaluate the ideas they come across and the experiences they have. They need to be able to adapt their thinking to include new ideas. They need to be able to balance emotion and reason. We also need to ensure that children learn to draw connections between ideas and learn to construct their own knowledge. They should not merely acquire knowledge, but should be able to apply their learning. The changes should include examination reforms to enable inclusiveness and allow for all types of intelligence to be accommodated. Examinations should feed into the teaching process and not just remain static end-of-the-term assessment that do not provide feedback to the students to learn from their mistakes and improve themselves. Education should always aim to make students care about the concerns that affect their society, the world, and be able to understand and respect all perspectives. The Clix modules are an exemplar of this kind of thinking and integrate technology in the teaching of subjects to enable deep learning. While you might want to formulate your own guiding principles, the ones the Clix team had formulated for itself are collaborative learning. Working with others is how human civilization has managed to grow and sustain itself for centuries. We need to teach students the skill. Moreover, learning is more fun when done with friends. Group tasks aid learning a lot. Learning from mistakes. The willingness to accept the possibility of failure and yet try and try again is the fundamental principle that marks all human endeavor. Thomas Edison famously said, I have not failed. I have merely found 999 ways of not doing something. Children need to learn to deal with pressure and learn from their mistakes in productive ways. It is when we learn to do that we learn best. When children can see real-world applications of what they are learning, they are motivated to learn. Therefore, our curriculum must be based on authentic or relevant learning situations. As stated before, technology is key and becoming a digital native 
is an essential quality for the 21st century citizen of the world to possess. There is no industry now that is not speared by the technological revolution. If we combine subject and this medium together for select aspects, children could learn in a fun way the very relevant skills. Technology also allows for the make, share, seek principle much more easily. Hence, the guiding principles spoken about earlier are easily accommodated using this medium. After all, technology is how we are all connected in this course. Do let us know what you agree with in this presentation and what you would change and why in the discussion that follows. Thank you. Thank you.